Start by creating a Pinterest board of drawn textures. Next, you'll create nine thumbnail sketches of textures and patterns that you've pinned to your Pinterest board. Next, you'll want to look up your main idea image. Notice I searched simple Monstera drawing. That ensures that I will find something that's already drawn and hopefully quite simple to recreate. Your scratch paper is shiny black on one side and white on the other. Starting on the white side, we want to cut our paper down to a square. The shorter side of our paper is eight and a half inches, so I'll be measuring eight and a half inches the long way to cut a strip off of the end. A flat ruler would work best for this. At the time of me making this video, my kids had stolen my ruler and I didn't know where it was. That's why I had to use the tape measure. So cut off the little strip and now we're going to use it to sketch out our designs that we put into our thumbnail sketches. Sketching out all your thumbnail designs onto the scratch paper is giving you an idea of how the tools work, how your designs will look on the scratch paper, and hopefully giving you an idea of which ones you'll like to choose for the final piece. Now you want to take your large square piece of scratch paper and you'll be using a pencil to lightly sketch out your main idea image into the center of the scratch paper. Now you can use your tool to scratch out your main image. Now that you've got the main image scratched out, you can divide the background into different size areas. You can choose to do it symmetrically or asymmetrically. And you can make as many as large or as small as you like. Just remember that you'll be putting your design work into these smaller areas. On my original sketch you see at the bottom of my screen, I did choose a couple of my thumbnail sketches and sketch them around my sketch just to see what they would look like. So I've settled on two designs and now I'm scratching them in to all the different areas on my scratch art. Your fingers and your hand definitely will feel this process. I have found one of these little foam things that my children use to help. I started with the original tool and then also got out a chopstick and sharpened it slightly and that also seemed to work well. After I filled in a few spaces around my leaf, I decided that my leaf needed to have a thicker line to make it pop a little bit more. So that's what I'm doing now.